In today's episode of medication you're not taking, but you probably should be taking, I give you the case study of magnesium, specifically magnesium glycinate. With all the controversy that's been going on on TikTok with physician and medical TikTok doctors pushing certain supplements, I figured it was time to tell you about one supplement that I take. This supplement is called magnesium glyconate. Why do I take magnesium glyconate? For one, it's a cofactor. It's not a hormone. It's not some sort of mix of herbal organic medications. It's an enzymatic cofactor that helps enhance your body's natural performance. Now, why is this important? Because one, your body will be able to self-regulate how much magnesium you have, but number two, it's not an exogenous uh, insult to the body. It's not exogenous medication, it's not exogenous plants or roots that have different effects. Now, why, you may ask, why do I take magnesium as one of the few supplements that I do take? Well, it's because magnesium has certain properties that make it very useful even in the realm of medicine, OR, anesthesia, and evidence-based medicine. This is specifically in the role of pain. During surgery, we use magnesium to decrease your pain after surgery. Not only that, we use magnesium to decrease the blood pressure in obstetric women who are pregnant with preeclampsia. This means that magnesium has a role in decreasing blood pressure and decreasing pain. And that's been objectively proven. Not only that, magnesium also increases the release of naturally occurring melatonin in your body. Now what this means is magnesium has critical roles in regulating your body, but it doesn't add exogenous uh, compounds. So if you follow me for a second, if your blood pressure is lower and your pain is lower, you're probably gonna sleep better. So that's exactly why if I'm having a bad night, if I'm having difficulty sleeping, if I'm having stress or anxiety, um, I use magnesium. Because stress and anxiety have an effect on your body of increasing blood pressure, increasing pain. So if you can decrease those symptoms, you can probably sleep better, which then improves your anxiety because you're less tired in the morning. So you can think clearer and you can have a better day. So that's why I use magnesium. It's not for everybody. Obviously check with your own physician. It can interact with certain medications, including beta blockers. But if you're looking for something that's natural, that isn't uh, insult to your body, more of a uh, cofactor or a compatriot, um, in your ability to help you sleep, help you with pain, help you with anxiety, magnesium glycinate is a great option. Do your own research, but that's my opinion. If you like this content, follow for more.